EPOS now have completely redesigned the stock take process. Stock takes in general are not the most fun thing to do, but now they're easy to use and will fit into any business. So let's go ahead and have a look. Stock take was split into two parts, search and list, but now it's just one stock take app. So we can search for and create lists from the, the single app. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to search. So I, if I put in a search term, it will give me a list of things that I want to add. And then I can add that thing and then st stop, take it from here. Another method would be to quick scan. So if I check this, I can then use my barcode scanner to add the products and also count them at the same time. The third method would be to create a list. Before we were only allowed, we were, we were only able to create lists from suppliers and categories, but now we've added the ability to create lists from brands and wet and dry products too. So I'm going to create my list from spirits, which is a category which is right down the bottom, unfortunately. So I'm going to type in there, and then I can find it here easily, and then set that filter and create my list. Now, Morgan Spice is the top. Uh, top product. I know that I've got about a quarter left in my bottle, in the bottle. So, but the bottle is 75, 750 milliliters. So I need to work out a quarter of it. Before I had to do it in my head. And now I can use this great feature called show as decimal. If I select this, it will show the value as a decimal. And then I can go from here. I can add six point. 2.5 which, uh, which is uh, the remainder of my uh, bottle. I can set this and then from here I can get rid of show as decimal and as you can see it's worked out for me. The next thing uh, I need to do is select a reason, so uh, a reason for the discrepancy. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this a, a stock take reason and also because I know that I'm doing stop, this is the reason is going to be stock take for all of my discrepancies. I'm then going to make this for all of them. So I'm just going to apply that to all. There are several ways to count your products. So the first, uh, an easy way would just be if you've got exactly the same, would just be to transfer the expected over to the actual by just hitting the expected. If I've got five more of my Bombay Gin, uh, just come in. All I need to do is I can increment from here, so I can add there, or I can just select five and then select add to. This will give me my nine value. It will also, as you can see, you could you, this, the stock take reason has also followed through. Okay, so what about if I've missed out a product from the list? I can easily search for this product and that will then add to the bottom of the list and then I can stop take that item. If I have a list that's really long, say 5,000 products, sometimes it's difficult to find the uh, correct item, especially if I'm doing, it, doing the stock take not in the order of the list. We can now find the, find the product in the list, so I can I can search for the the item, and then it will just instead of being add, it will then be find, and that will take me right to the bottom, as where I can see my bottle of Gordon's gin. Finally, I need to uh, talk about these buttons at the top. So the first one is stock take notes. This does exactly what it says. You can add a note from here. Save as draft will save as a draft so that you can come back to it later and uh, finish it off. Review stock take is a new feature and I'll explain on the next page. So I finished my stock take and uh, now I'm onto the review stage. As you can see at the top I have four tabs, all items discrepancies correct and uncounted. This just gives you a higher level overview of your stock take. In order to complete my stock take, I need to get rid of my uncounted products or do something with them. So my uncounted products could be something that I missed off the list or something that I just haven't got and therefore I haven't counted. So what I can do is I can do one of two things. I can set uncounted to zero, which should 
which is what I'm going to do because I know that um, I just haven't I just got haven't got any of them left. Or I can remove the encounter from the stock take in general because I don't want to stock take it at all. So I'm just going to set this uh, set uncounted to zero set, and then I'm done. So from here, I can go back to all items and I can print that. Uh, or if I wanted to, I could also, if I didn't do it in the first stage, I can also uh, apply a reason to all of the items. Okay, and then I can just go ahead and complete the stock take.